hello guys welcome to CHT gaming today i'm going to uh, show you the top five uh, best upcoming ps5 ex exclusives uh, in 2020 and 2021 so let's get started at number five we have horizon forbidden west it's the long awaited sequel to the critically acclaimed horizon zero dawn was confirmed during the Sony PS5 game reveal uh, in June. Coming exclusively to PS5, Horizon Forbidden West continues Aloy's story and takes her to America's wild frontier with trailer that heavily suggests we'll be spending a good portion of the water, a good portion of the game underwater. Uh, the trailer hints a lot of kinds of uh, enemies Aloy will be facing for the next game, but not much else is known about the game's uh, overarching story apart from the American setting. Still, this is the official description of the game from the Horizon Forbidden West trailer. Uh, uh, so she'll be facing a lot of awe-inspiring machines. Next up, uh, at number 4, we have uh, the most famous game Final Fantasy series 16 part. It's a uh, Console generation uh, game, console generation is pop most popular and it's coming exclusively to PS5 on uh, April 1, 2019. Job listing was done for this game. In this game, the Yoshida doesn't believe any Final Fantasy title is near future will be uh, an MMO, which makes sense as FF14 is going just fine. There's no need of competition from its next own rank. Secondly, uh, would like the next Final Fantasy. Most Final Fantasy games use Final Fantasy settings with stream punk elements such as mechanical soldiers, airships, but especially Final Fantasy 13 and 15 were both arguably the underperformed with a modern style. Uh, at number 13, and by the way, the prudent to opposite way to try something little more traditional in this game. So do check it out when it comes. It's called Final Fantasy 16. At number 13. We have Demon Souls remake uh, coming to PS5. We'll be having two separate graphics modes, 4K and high frame rate mode. Uh, Demon Souls is one of the most few PS5 launches games uh, that are actually exclusive to the next-gen hardware, so it makes sense for the players to want the clearest, crisp crispiest experience. That said, this is still a Souls game, and every little frame matters when you're up against the old king Val. A land for what reason it makes sense for the developer blue point to offer two options and try to satisfy ps5 early adopters who just want the newest looking shiniest games as well as the more practical players with surviving demon souls bring their number one priority i spotted on reddit the official ps5 uh, storefront for the demon souls gives a lengthy overview of demon souls ps5 remake features arts uh, it has it can be played in 4k or high frame mode in ps5 with the high feedback in dual sense control at number two we have the most awaited grand Turismo 7 it's an upcoming racing video game developed by polyphony uh, digital published by sony interactive entertainment on june 11 2020 it was announced it's a, a virtual reality was missing in the game so the new designer direct uh, director kazo nori Yamuchi is a gone record to say VR is one of the areas that benefits most of the technological advances. To launch, uh, this game will be launched in PS5 with the PSVR 2.0 code of the PlayStation. It is uh, clear if the game launch title status of the both, it would make perfect sense that Sony to show off their VR headset along with this game. GT1 showed off uh, pseudo environment mapping, GT3 showed off real environment mapping. GT5 and it is 3D TV support and what's actually going to support uh, is going to be new in this game. Let's watch. Uh, by the way, guys, you, yeah, you right there, please subscribe, like, share. Go do it. It takes only one second of your time. Uh, yeah, so go do it. At number one, we have the most famous Spider Man Miles Morales. It will be launching uh, on the day of PS5 and it has been confirmed. Uh, by November 12 on US, Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, and UK. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales will retail for 59.99 cents 
dollars in US. Uh, it's a triple A title game. The Entertainment Weekly article also revealed that Miles will be much be ha having his own Spider Man with his own movements, more uh, own animations and powers such as Bioshock and Invisibility, which will distinguish him from Peter Parker. The game trailer opens with Miles' hand seemingly in a power generator or fuse box of some kind, suggesting he may uh, get to use the shocks of more than just stunning villains. Speaking of villains, the trailer caught sight of someone who was hulking mechanical cars. So it's going to be a good game guys, it's Miles Morales, see you in the next video.